I'm Kyle Backus. On April 28th of 2020, my mom was killed as a result of someone else's negligence. It's completely changed my life and the way I practice law. If you too have felt the pain of losing a loved one and you don't know where to turn, let me be your guide on what to do next when the unthinkable happens. So one of the things that comes up uh, when you're involved in a, a crash is how much insurance is there and who is going to be responsible financially for the consequences of what happened? You know, one of the things that a lot of people don't understand when they first call is that, you know, they think, hey, I'm in a crash, so I guess whatever happened to me is gonna be covered by somebody else's insurance. What do you realize to be street legal in most states, you only have to have $10,000, maybe $25,000 of insurance, depending on the state. Some states, zero dollars of actual injury coverage insurance, and you can be street legal. And so one of the first things when you're hurt or you have a friend or a relative who's hurt in a car crash is trying to understand where is the money actually gonna come from to pay for what happened? There are many people who are out on the road who are driving as part of their employment with a company at the time that they cause a crash that injures or kills somebody else. It's pretty clear if they're driving a truck that says FedEx on the side, right? That, hey, there's a FedEx driver involved. Did you know that if that FedEx driver is driving in the course and scope of his employment, meaning doing what he's supposed to be doing, and he causes a crash or she causes a crash, that FedEx is, as an entity, the company is equally responsible for the conduct of his driver as the driver is. So it's almost like the FedEx company is sitting behind the wheel driving and they're financially liable, just as financially liable as the driver of their truck is if that driver is in the course and scope of his employment. There's a lot of people who are driving for an employer on the road right now. They're not driving a truck that says FedEx on the side of it, but they're still driving in the course and scope of their employment. Did you know that so long as they're in the course and scope of their employment, that their employer is responsible. There's a big fancy word for this. It's called respondeat superior. But all you need to know is that if somebody's at work and they hurt somebody while driving a car as part of their job duties, the company is responsible. That's a big, big difference than no insurance or just the driver's own policy. How are you supposed to know whether or not there's a bigger policy out there, right? This is one of the reasons you don't handle stuff on your own. When the consequences are serious, you need a serious lawyer who's gonna do the serious work that is required to find out what assets and what insurance are actually out there and available for you and your family.